Chow, Chin Chow, Slanto Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Mystery Gift Showcase. If you're not aware of what this series is, is that basically Pokemon uh, event sometimes sends off events by a mystery gift, and I pick them up and show you guys them in a series that I call the Mystery Gift Showcase. It couldn't be simpler. Today we are looking at Shiny Solgaleo. Now, of course. Uh, there is also a shiny Lunala with this event as well if you are playing through Sun and Ultra Sun. If you're playing through Moon and Ultra Moon, you get shiny Solgaleo. So that's how it works. We are level 60 and of course they have different movesets depending on the game you pick them up in. And they may or may not be holding a gold bottle cap when you pick them up. Now, in the last episode, linked in the description below, we looked at Shiny uh, Solgaleo. In today's episode, we are looking at... No, we looked at Shiny Lunala. Today, we are looking at Shiny Solgaleo. Now, I have to say thank you to my... Uh, thank you to the person who sent me this code. If I spell your name... If I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I am sorry. But here it is. This is Parallel... Uh, Paraluxium X. Uh, para... Paralox... Uh, Paralox... Uh, Zium X. Thank you to you for giving me the code. I will link your Twitter in the description below. Uh, and shout you out here. So thank you so much for this code. This is a... Uh, this is uh, from him. It is a French code, so, but I do know it works because codes are region free. So that is cool. Let's do this. Because he sent me two, and I've already ch I've already got one of them. Uh, I've already claimed one of them because I wanted to see if it actually was working. So this is the second one I'm claiming now. So thank you so much for sending me these codes. It took it took me for honestly forever because they announced this event in August, but they didn't tell us until deep into October where they were going to place these events. We were... And they said they were going to start it on October the 1st. They didn't start it until October 21st. It was so goddamn annoying. Don't ever do that again, Pokemon. You know, if you're going to tell... If you're going to make a Mystery Gift, if you're going to take Mystery Gift with you to Sword and Shield, please tell me exactly where I pick my codes up from. And uh, what I need to do in order to get my codes. Because it's just so goddamn annoying if you don't do that. Please do. Uh, because I have I have to do so much work for these for this vid these videos. You don't think I have to do a lot of work for this. But I do. Brilliant Solgaleo. Feel the warmth of shiny Solgaleo. The legendary Pokemon beams with power. Devastating huge attacks with Sun Steel Strike. And recovering damage with Morning Sun. And there it is. That is beautiful. All right, let's go and pick him up. In the actual game itself. So if you now remember again, you can soft reset for you can soft reset before talking to him. All you need to do is save and then soft reset, and of course that'll give you the ability to uh, soft reset for natures 
and of course to soft reset for three random IVs since it is a given Pokemon. All given Pokemon have three random IVs. Right, three random perfect IVs, so that's cool. Let's take a look at this thing then. So, Sunny Solgaleo has Sunsteel Strike, Zen Headbutt, Noble Roar, and Morning Sun. Uh, and this one has plus speed minus defense. A hasty nature. It's not so great, but it's okay. I can... It's okay. I mean, I don't really care about competitive, but if you are one of those people who cares about competitive, there you go. That's how you get it. I am not one of those people who cares about competitive, but if you are looking for shiny Solgaleo and shiny Nunala in competitive stats, you can soft reset for them. But I'm not one of those people. But let's show it off in battle. Because I do want to do that. So we throw it to the front of the party. And let's see what it looks like in battle. Now there's one thing I didn't do in the last episode. Dude, which I which I will do in this one because I do have I do have Necrozma with me on this team, so I want to see if Necrozma, if I throw a shiny, if I throw shiny Solgaleo into Necrozma with the uh, uh, with the um, item, does that change uh, if it's shiny or not? I want to see. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so there he is, shown off in battle uh, with a normal move. Let's let's give him a Z. Where's my Steelism Z? There it is. There's my Steelism Z. Okay, so let's see. It. Let's see Shiny Solgaleo doing a sta uh, doing a, Z a Steel Z move onto this Pelipper. Oh wait, damn it! I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I just, I just pressed on Steel Strike. I didn't do it. I didn't. Do it. I'm an idiot. It's fine. We'll do another. We'll do another encounter. Or you just won't die, so we can actually do it. We can try this again. Okay, that's fine. Corkscrew Crash. He set up a Tailwind, so that's why he's faster. Let's do it. Corkscrew Crash. Okay, cool. And that still doesn't kill. Oh, thank God he didn't get help. Thank God he didn't get help. That would have been that would have been annoying if he got help. Come on, you can live an attack. There we go. Solgaleo lives an attack. Zen headbutt. There we go. That was kind of annoying. He did not want to go down. Okay, so... Now we'll put the Solgaleoism Z on him. And show that off in battle. Oh, 
of course, heal him up too, because he was a little bit wounded from that battle. And let's see what this looks like. On another Pelipper. Okay, this is my... I might not kill this, but it'll be fun anyway. Here we go. Rising Sunrise Smash Jumps into the hole with Pelipper Comes out another side and then runs into him with the power of the sun Oh come on don't roost that that was awesome Oh, he boosted it. Oh, that's go. That's annoying. Oh my God, he's roosting. <laughs> he's absolutely. He's getting rid of every H. He's getting back all the HP in the world. So this doesn't. And now he's calling for help. Okay, he didn't receive help. He didn't receive help. It's fine. It's fine, Joe. He didn't receive help. Zen headbutt again. I will kill it. And he set up a tailwind, so he... Uh, so that's fine. And Zen headbutt again. I can live an attack. He missed his ta... Oh, we both missed attacks. He set up a tailwind again. Here's my Zen headbutt. And you will die now, Pelipper. Okay. That was an ordeal. Okay, let's save the game. And now let's now let's run the experiment I want to run. So in my key items folder, there is, there it is, the end solizer. Use this item. Okay. Use it on black hole. Merge with Sogaleo. Okay, we let Sunsteel strike. Now, are you shiny? No, you are not. You are not shiny. Oh, that's kind of... Uh, so I'm guessing in order for it to be shiny, you need shiny... Uh, you need shiny Necrozma. I was full of hoping he'd be shiny. Or maybe they both need to be shiny in order for it to be shiny. Either way, I'm still going to run into a Pokemon. I'm still going to use the... Uh, Ultra Necrozium Z to... Uh, show it... Show it off here. Oh, I didn't do it. I just did the move. That's not what I meant to do. It's all perfectly fine. I actually meant to show off his uh, Ultra across me and Z move. I disactivated it. That's what I did. Okay. Learning. Became Ultra Necrozma.
A nice cool. That is cool. Now, if only I wouldn't kill it with, with becoming auction across my. Because I'd love to see it, like. Actually, can I do that? Can I not kill it? Okay, Night Slash is not very effective. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I want to. I want to see what else I can do. I want to see if I can actually use an actual Z move. Or if this takes the Z move. Because I haven't played around with this before. Oh yeah, I can totally use a Z move too. Oh, I can't use a Z move because I don't have an item. Oh, I was totally hoping I could use the Z move too. Why did they even give me the option in that situation? Because I should be able to get I should be able to do something with it, but I can't hold two Z stones. But that's fine. Okay. Right, let's unequip the Pokemon from each other. And then we'll go into Pokemon Refresh. Is this the first time I've been in Pokemon Refresh on my Pokemon Ultra, uh, my Ultra Moon copy? Wow. I never realized that. Okay, so there we go. There is a shiny Solgaleo in Pokemon Refresh. Let's feed him a bean. And flip over the screens. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is shiny Solgaleo and shiny Nunala in Pokemon Sun. Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. That is what they look like. That is how it is done. So, there is one more thing I want to do. Ooh, since this is the last time I get to do this, I'm going to fire up the, uh, oh, the uh, End Soul Realizer one last time. And then we're going to Pokemon Refresh again. Because I've never, I've never seen this before as well, so I wanted to see what it looks like in this. That is cool. I'm going to feed him a bean. That is cool. It's a shame that Ultra, uh, Ultra uh, Necrozma is only available in battle and you can't see it in Pokemon Refresh. But that is so cool. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course... Go and receive your uh, shiny Nunala and shiny Solgaleo by going to your stores and asking for codes. If you're in the UK, you need to go to game stores and ask for codes. They are one per customer. So, of course, go on consecutive days or try and find some way that you can get two codes. Uh, because they won't give you them if they won't give you two codes otherwise. 
So if you have both games, you got to find some way of doing that. I would suggest going on to consecutive days. That's what I would suggest doing. Anyway, and of course, if you're in America, all you need to do is you need to open your Pokemon Pass app when you're in a GameStop store, look for the poster, scan the uh, QR code, and then you'll get three codes that you can use. One for you, uh, well, both for you, actually, and then a third for a friend. There you go, that's how you do it. Anyway, until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to love Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon, Sword and Shield, and good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.